Welcome back. We're here with Dan Hodges today. He's going to tell us a little bit about a fun winter activity, bird watching and bird feeding. So something you can do right out of your backyard. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. You know, what a great activity to do. Uh, so very few times can you just sit back, drink a cup of coffee, and watch the wildlife come to you. Uh, but that's exactly what we're doing with bird feeding, right? Uh, all you got to do is put a feeder up, maybe outside your window, uh, and literally sit back and watch. Uh, so I've got a few different styles of feeders here. I've got some different seeds, but really, um, there's not a lot of wrong ways to do this, right? Uh, typical feeders like this, hopper style, feeder um, easy to fill um, easy to clean that's kind of important uh, my favorite style like this one here um, oops, <laughs> this one here uh, it has kind of like a mesh style opening I think this is nice because more birds can sit on the outside of this uh, this cage here um, this is mainly for feeding uh, for feeding of uh, the larger seeds um, and the best seed of all is black oil sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds by far the best. All the birds like sunflower seed. Uh, here, I've got some. I've got some to share with you today. All the birds uh, like sunflower seed. Everybody likes sunflower seed. Um, and the problem is sometimes you go to the store and the cheap bags say, oh, this is the best bird seed, but they're, they got a lot of filler. You might get twice as big a bag, but you'll get twice the waste as well. Get some black oil sunflower seed. Uh, another good step um, is to use thistle seed and thistle seeds, very, very small. Um, and uh, a few types of birds really, really like this. Uh, you put it in sock feeders like this. And all the birds can uh, uh, all the birds can sit on the outside and pull those little seeds out. Uh, so I've got black oil sunflower seed, I've got thistle seed, um, and then suet cakes as well. So suet cakes come in these little uh, these little packages. You put them inside of wire cages like this. It's rendered beef fat mixed with some seeds. Those are the three the three types of food that I always have available. And if you're only going to choose one, choose black oil sunflower seeds. All the birds like it. Uh, and uh, it's going to give you the most bang for your buck. Uh, so you put your feeder outside your window, uh, you fill it with black oil sunflower seed, uh, and you, uh, you just sit back and watch. Forgive me if this is a silly question, but would you say that there are less birds uh, during these colder months? Is this a way of kind of drawing them in to get those sights in? Yeah, sure. So, uh, so we had all sorts of birds here during the summertime, um, and a lot of those birds have flown south, so we do have less number of birds. Uh, the birds that do stay are resident birds are looking for food. And while generally, if certainly if there's natural area around, they're going to find their own food. Uh, a free handout is not a bad thing. Uh, so feeding these birds is going to help them sustain them through, you know, really cold periods. It's going to give them an opportunity to spend more energy on surviving the cold temperatures um, and less energy on, on trying to find food, especially if you're providing them with good, healthy food like sunflower seeds. Uh, you're it's going to go a long way. Of course, you don't have to just stop with uh, the bird feeders, right? You can uh, put out a, a bird bath or you could think even more holistically uh, about the birds um, year round and certainly in the wintertime too. You can uh, make sure that you have shelter nearby uh, your uh, bird feeding station so that they can hide if predators come around. Uh, you can make sure that they you have uh, native plants in your yard so that in the summertime they're eating native bugs and in the wintertime they get native berries as well. You can attract more birds that way and you could do uh, even more to benefit the environment right outside your house. Good to know. And I know that you tell me the um, the issues with the bird feeding that was taking place a few, a few months ago. That's over now, right? So we're good to go. This, uh, this past summer, yeah, you're right. You're right, Heidi. Uh, this past summer, uh, they uh, they kind of had us take our feeders down. There was a disease going around, and they wanted the birds to spread out to social distance, right? Uh, so we took our feeders down, uh, and you cleaned them. Uh, just a little bit of bleach. Uh, and get making sure those uh, those bird feeders are clean before you put them back up. You can put them back up now, uh, but it's still not a bad thing to take them down every week or two, uh, a couple of weeks, and uh, clean them out again. There's other diseases that uh, birds can pass around. The one this summer, wasn't really sure what it was, but there's more that we do know. Uh, and we know that taking those feeders down, cleaning them up, uh, is going to do uh, going to do really good things. All right, good information as always. Thank you, Dan. Stay warm. I can see your breath, so I can tell it's getting cold out there. <laughs> it's getting a little bit chilly, but you know what? Uh, to watch the birds, you don't even have to get outside. Uh, but it's not a bad thing to do that too. Have exactly. a good one. All right, thanks so much, Dan. First edition will be right back right after the break.